Either either hold or fire from Lee Welcome to the Narjun Reacts. In this we're in reaction to the Hasbun Hotel Season 1, Episode 7. Um, now before we get into it, uh, just to let you know if you hear me sniffle or cough sometimes, that's uh, because I'm I have a bit of a cold. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm so excited! The season one finale! Or uh I guess for second to last episode of the season. I'm not worried about anyone dying yet because I've I've heard that Vivian said that one of the main cast is supposed to die. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be in season one or in one of the seasons. I don't see anyone dying in this episode. If someone's gonna die, it'll probably be the last episode of the season. So I'll save my freaking out for that one. Oh, we're starting with all of you here. Here are your wings, Nifty. I don't have. Did you ever think maybe she's sensitive about her lack of wings? Oh, uh, Angel Dust being like. Kind of like, instead of, I feel like before Angel Dust, considering he's made fun of Vaggie before, like, I mean, he did call her vagina. <laughs> but I feel like, I, I think we're definitely seeing how Angel Dust has changed, because before he would have made fun of Vaggie for her wings, or something, like being a fallen angel or whatever, but now he's actually like, nifty, come on, you know, she's probably self-conscious about that. Unless he's going to say this and then turn around and go and say something himself. Just like her lack of tits. Yeah. Where are your tits? Uh, Nifty! Nifty, your one is talk when you're flat chest. No, Vaggy has a bigger, bigger chest than you do, Nifty, so I don't want to hear it. Question. Angels are just liars. Different. Yeah. But <laughs> Says someone named after Angel. Her best is not good enough. Turning out real well so far. Ah, husk. Anyway. Look at freaking Pentious petting Kiki. I still want to call her Kitty though. Okay. Why is Pench just turned into like the most sweet, like, must protect at all costs character where he's just like so, with his cons, like his little face in the previous episode and then like um, when he was like crying over Charlie and Lucifer's moments and stuff, like he's, he's such a sweetie. Isn't it about time for another doom to fail plan? She's upstairs. Don't jinx it. Coming up with something I'm sure. Mm -hmm. In our room. Alone. <laughs> Al oh, Alistair, are you? Oh, no, she's right. Oh, Razzle and Dazzle are kind of trying to be there. Charlie, you look an absolute mess. Her face there. <laughs> that face. That is a face of <laughs> I'm in my security blanket or my cocoon of sadness and don't you bother me. Or you are bothering me, so leave. Making a fight with all of heaven and dooming everyone you love. <laughs> I have enough on my <laughs> Poor Charlie. Who's joking? <laughs> you have a captive audience downstairs waiting to hear what I'm sorry, the way that Alistair said that. No, can I hear that again? That was kinda of funny. Who's joking? <laughs> Who's joking? <laughs> Alistair you They came here to be saved and all Really ass, ass, I was about to call him Aster. <laughs> really, Alistair, you're, you're sitting there. I'm sorry. This is the man who is the radio demon who's killed overlords and stuff. And it was a cannibal when he was alive. And he's sitting there laying on her bed with his feet kicking back and forth like some kind of high schooler. <laughs> All I gave them was more pain. Maybe, maybe, uh. Maybe uh, Mitzi was so far off with her. He's a sweetie underneath all of that stuff. I'm just as bad as the cruelest overlord in hell. Maybe worse, at least. I'm sorry, the way he leaned in like that with the radio static sound. Oh, fuck you, Alistair. All you do is stand there smiling. Oh, Charlie actually said F you to him. While you watch us struggle and fail. I don't know how you I mean, wasn't that his goal in the pilot? It was to watch you struggle and fail and... Or everyone in the hotel. Don't think you know what's going on underneath. Oh. 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 I mean, we knew that Alistair is like based off like Vivian and based them off of the you're you're never fully dressed without a smile quote. Um, or song. So 
yeah, I mean, he's kind of the definition of just because you wear a smile doesn't mean you're always happy. Like, some people just put on a smile as a mask kind of thing. And that's what I feel like with Alistair. Because he's always smiling. Like, even when he's angry, he's smiling. I don't think we've... Like, you'll see when he gets really upset, like, his lip will twitch or something. Like, his corner of his mouth will twitch or something there, or his lip will curl. But other than that, we have... I don't think we've seen him at all lose that smile. I feel like the... The moment we do see him lose that smile is when he's either broken, cracked, or, like, something's really going to have to disturb him for that to happen. Sure that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. Is that for Charlie or what you've told yourself, Alistair? Hmm? The person I trust most has been lying to me for years. Heaven refuses to listen. He yeah, okay, so that's what I thought. In the previous episode, I was like, I don't think Charlie's upset at what Vaggie was or is, technically. I think she's upset over Vaggie never having told her. Like, they're, they have a trust there, so for Vaggie never to have feel that trust or trust Charlie enough to not, like, abandon her when she after being told that Vaggie was an extermination angel, yeah, that would have hurt Charlie. Also, freaking Alistair standing there with the pumpkin king, like, jack-o'-lantern smile. Nothing I can do about any of it. You got Alistair. I know something you don't know. And that would be... Huh? Those big scary angels are not quite as indestructible as they seem. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, that's right, because he knows about the fact that they've killed an extermination angel. Just that you or not they, but Camille, Camilla. It's not Camilla. It's Camille. You and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than if they get weapons. How? I'll do anything. anything. Oh, don't promise that, Charlie. Remember, he, he, he. I, as much as I want to like, not like, but as much as I want to trust Alistair or say that he may actually be wanting to help Charlie and her whole hotel cause and stuff and everything. Remember what Vagus in the beginning is, don't, or in the pilot, don't make a deal with him. So, please don't. <laughs> I, I, like, I feel like, um, I don't know if I would trust Alistair with that. Then let's make a deal. No, 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 last time that happened, there was all the spooky green stuff and everything. Between friends. Mm -hmm. I never heard anyone. Do we have a deal? <laughs> yeah, Razzle and Dazzle are like most of us right now. We're like, mm, I don't know about this. Why don't you would? Ha I'm pretty certain Charlie would go for a deal, even if it was for her soul, because she for her to save her people, which includes Vaggy, she would do it. So the fact that Alistair's not going for that kind of deal, what does he want? What favors would he ask of Charlie? Like, would it be favors that would be connected to Lucifer? Because he knows he could never get Lucifer to do anything, so therefore he's going to have Charlie owe him favors, so then he can... Mm. Oh, they growled. A Razzle Dazzle is so cute. I want... I want. They've got to make plushies of those two. Deal. Oh, she showed her. <gasps> Holy sh... No, no, wait. What was that face? Ooh. And I love that elk screech for him. Like, it, it, it's a sound that's not scary when you see it coming from an elk, but when you hear, like, out in the forest at night or something, you're just like, it's... <laughs> Ooh. Also, you know, the stitchings on Alistair, like, his arms and his mouth and everything, they almost remind me of uh, Taxidermy. And I wonder if it's because he was mistaken for a deer and he's, like, a radio slash deer demon. I wonder if it's, like, Taxidermy. That's creepy, though. That's a creepy image. So this is what his deal oh, no. like. Oh. Charlie. Oh, calm down. She still owns her soul. He gave me He's like, I wouldn't do that. It's worse. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I really wonder what Alistair's got planned for Charlie. And Carmilla, is the Carmilla, that's her name. Carmilla Carmine? She killed an exorcist in Carmilla the Carmine. So it is Carmine. I was mixing Camilla, Carmilla with Carmine and saying Car... Cum... Camine... Cum, okay. Carmilla. I'm just gonna remember for Carmilla. She knows how they can be harmed, but... So we're gonna go to Carmilla and the Overlords and talk to them? did. What you have told me? Charlie. <laughs> I... I need you yeah. to go to her. No, we're... 
Got Al, sir. And I know just who can help. Who? As new as new character, maybe? What's that you said about smiles? Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> we talk about this. We can talk later. Yeah, I don't think Charlie's gonna be up to talking to you, Vaggie, after the whole trust broken thing. You with us? Ooh, the way she, ooh, the way she looked at Vaggie like that, like almost like, like snooty like. No, nah! okay, that's that comes off as kind of snooty with the way she like looked down at her with her head tilted up, but like. At the same time, I don't know, that felt... Charlie, I understand that your trust has been broken from Becky, but I don't think you want to... Uh, it's a combo of things. I think Charlie's reacting because she's got she's got the stuff now going on with, with extermination, literally targeting the hotel first. And then she's got the trust broken with Becky. So it's like double things making her more... Not volatile, but not think clearly and stuff. I don't know. Charlie just left like they were running away from their responsibilities. Should we be alarmed? <laughs> no. Should be alarmed? <laughs> we have a plan. Also, wait, is the freaking Egg Boys writing Kiki? No. Oh my god, they are. They're, <laughs> they're writing Kiki. Are you fucking high? They can be. Oh, there's that line we got in the trailer. That knife lady, Camaro car fight killed one. Car fight. You about this? Oh, yeah. I, I told Pensius. Oh, oh. Oh, months ago. So it's been months since the second episode? But they say insane shit all the time. How was I supposed to know this? Yeah, I mean, you can't really blame them if that's the, if they do say, like, crazy stuff all the time. You can't blame Pentius. Bank accounts are a scam created by the shadow government. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's important now, is, but none of you signed up for this. Yeah, not a war. I'm gonna, we'll all understand if none of you are here. Look at their freaking eyes! No, I and why is freaking Nifty the only one that has her eye looking normal? Everyone else is like just little pin dots. Like, but I love that. I love that they've still they've decided to do that with the characters. That when they're zoomed out, it's just I, I mean, I've mentioned this a couple times before, but I don't know. It's really cute. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Uh, especially when they're talking like that. Okay. <laughs> Cannibal Town. Years I've been sharing my life with her, and I tell her. Oh my god, she's ranting about Vaggy to Alistair. Okay, Alistair looks like he's not in the, like not into this at all. For everything. My hopes, my dreams, Never mind, he's fine. My embarrassing habits, what fucking deodorant I like. What she deodorant I like? like this from me? Wait, I'm sorry, Charlie, did you, did you just Did you just say that the her you I got to hear that again. My hopes, my dreams, my insecurities, my embarrassing habits. Okay, she said she listed everything, but then she said the deodorant. I'm like, wait, are we really saying that what type of deodorant you you use is the equivalent of telling your partner that you used to be the very thing that kills your your kind? Like, I don't think that's the same, Charlie. I don't think what kind of deodorant, what 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 your favorite drink is, what color you like is the same as that. Why would she lie for so long? Does she think oh my God, the poodle skeleton. New Orleans. I mean, Alistair must really go, go do well with these guys because him being a cannibal when he was alive. I wonder, they all smile similar to him, so is that why he's kind of got the sim- mm. I think you should meet. In cannibal town, but it's, Rosie's it's Emporium? Surprisingly nice here. They're all smiling. <laughs> I tell you Rosie's what. Emporium. Okay, so the title of this episode is Hello, Rosie, so, all right. Okay, now here's my She's not smiling. The one that Rosie's talking to isn't smiling. So is it where? Is this is this where the whole thing you're never fully dressed without a smile is gonna come in? Alista, where have you been? I like her more than Mitzi or Mimsy, not Mitzi, Mimsy. Oh, who's this you brought with you? Come now, Alista. She's much too young for you. Oh, I'm just <laughs> the people that ship Alistair and Charlie. <laughs> Everyone else around like, ah, she's too young for you. Or for him. Even though I don't think she is. I think she's like, what, in her early 20s? He's probably... Actually, I don't know what their ages were when they died. Like, when Alistair died, so I don't know. I don't even know if that matters. This is hell. <laughs> I know you're an ace in the hole. A what now? But where are your manners? A what now? Wait. Wait. Ace in the hole. Like, we know... Like, if I remember correctly, Alistair is either... Asexual or aromance? I'm sorry if I'm doing that wrong. But like 
So is that like a kind of like a, was that kind of like a nod to that where they're saying you're an ace in the hole? Or something that I'm gonna come off guard. We know that cause some things catch Alsor off guard. Like when Angel Dust was like, I could suck your dick. <laughs> he was like, yeah, no. Rosie, the most darling, delightful, and dangerous I just noticed the freaking cups in the top left. Yum, blood. How do you do? <laughs> wow. I just realized that Charlie only, do they all only have four fingers? Uh, I thought they had five. Uh, how have I not noticed that this whole time? Come in, come in. You know, Charlie just seems to Charlie just seems to be the one that show that everyone just pushes around like slides across the ground. <laughs> You're probably watching your finger. How about probably have pinky. pinky fingers instead. Um, no, no, thank you though. So. Oh, look at you, so polite, Alistair. You could learn a thing or two. Well, sit down, <laughs> sit down. Tell Auntie Rosie what she can do. Auntie Rosie. You know, Alistair. Well, as you know, the extermination is coming early. The in panic? <laughs> they're coming from my hotel and my- Rosie's face! I, I when you ask a favor, you don't start small, do you, your highness? Your highness. Now, we can talk about it inside or I can yell about it out here. For everyone there. You open that door. That's right, you open that door. <laughs> you tell her, Baggy. Convince me not to silence you for good. Oh, so I, I love how when uh, Carmine or Car Carmilla appears, it's like that 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 Spanish guitar or like that riff. We know an angel fell at your hands, and we need to know how. No. What do you mean? No. <laughs> Hell means with your knowledge, we wouldn't have to. Help Is Vicky gonna use her extermination angel well, pass? I am not the problem you and your little friends are facing right now. <laughs> the I will not. Oh, what do they call it? I don't know what they're called. The clackers that uh like. Those dancers use. <laughs> I love how when she did her fingers, did that clack sound. Forty-five seconds. You didn't pick the fight. Tick tock. Here now. You didn't see the look on their leader's face. With us out of the way, it's only a matter of time before they mm -hmm. come for the rest of you. Or you can stand alone tomorrow. And what do you think your chances will be then? Are we gonna get a song between these two? Because I, they kind of almost, they kind of had a song together, on separate parts, like. They were, it was a song of them both singing, but they weren't singing like together. So I wonder if we're gonna get a song now where they're actually singing at each other. You're out of time. Wow. Oh. Oh, oh, the two Latinas. You know I would do anything, anything. But. But how do I? With sparkle. Sparkle. Razzle dazzle? It's not like you've ever failed to inspire before. Wow, Alistair. And there's one in particular. Uh, Susan. Susan. <laughs> the way Alistair's ears went back. Oh, this is the first time I've seen his ears do that. Actually, no. Second time. First time we saw it was when Lucifer had mini butler Alistair in the pan. That's the first time we saw Alistair's ears go down. This is uh, a... Mm. Who's a bit of a... Uh, Special? Ornery old bitch. That. Ornery old bitch. Hey, he's for the second time. And the rest will be easy as pie. Ready? Who's she gonna be like? Or what's she gonna be like? Bring Rosie back. Is that her? Susan. Susan. <laughs> Susan. Susan. <laughs> Charlie, you're gonna have to sing. Sing to win him over. Okay, uh, Serenade them. Susan more like Karen. Is Susan like an example of like when we're just trying to enjoy things in life? You have the haters that are like, no, boo, you need to hate it, boo. Sh shut up, stop talking about, talk stop liking this, boo. <laughs> well, we're just like, like Charlie is us when we have a, like a passion or a love for something. We're just gushing about it and, the per and there's a hater in the background is going, no, stop. We don't want you to <laughs> like something. Stop it. And that's us when we've had enough of those kind of people. It's like, <laughs> thank you, Charlie. Hey, you will be back after a brief in a <laughs> Charlie. Oh. Olay. <laughs> Come on, Vaggy. I know you're rusty. 
used to fighting with long hair. By showing you the flaws. I'm not used to fighting with long hair. Are we gonna get short haired Baggy again? Is she gonna cut her hair because of this? I mean, then again, Camila or Carmila is fighting with very, even longer hair, so. Hmm. Your own fighting style. Yours and all your sisters. Wait. You oh, know she knows. An exorcist? How? You have a giant X of. <laughs> I'm sorry. What I find especially funny about what Carmilla just said is that I know like other reactors like Elijah and Morgan and uh and we last reacts. <laughs> like I was also one of the people or one of the reactors that felt that that Vaggy was an extermination angel and I guess a lot of people also didn't believe that and said it couldn't be in or anything. Even though to like us or like, because I, I, I've, I've never in interacted with Elijah and them. I, I would love to. Because uh, <laughs> I love watching them and everything. And they're very funny. And they're, they're great content creators and stuff. But uh, anyway, um, it was pretty obvious that most likely Vaggy was Extermination just from the X on her eye. Because nobody else has had an X over their eye except for Extermination Angels. And it's like, with how determined people there uh there were people that people were to say that no it can't be no like that doesn't even make sense or whatever so Carmela's reaction here of like like baggy going how did you know and she's like you have an x on your eye hello it's like that it's like we could sit there like me and elijah and the others could like sit there and go yeah it was obvious to us but not to the people who didn't believe us <laughs> or didn't think that ever could be the case an angelic spear it's and then, <laughs> yeah so i mean granted uh, vaki could have gotten the angel angelic spear from someone so i mean she it could have either turned out that she killed an extermination extermination angel and took it from them but i never thought that i thought yeah she's got a holy spear so unless she got it from from carmila um she had to have gotten herself and she could have only gotten that is if she was an extermination angel which lends to the X on her eyes. So it, it was kind of pretty obvious to be honest. It's not rocket science. <laughs> it's not. You found out about me. Did you know angels could be harmed? No. <gasps> well, other than by other extermination angels? You fight like someone unafraid of harm, and this is what you'll take advantage of. It's interesting that Vacuum would still feel that way considering she had her literal she had her eye ripped out and her wings cut off. So she obviously she can be hurt. I thought she was gonna say something like I thought Carmen was gonna say something like, You can't be hurt by sinners or demons. Like that's where it would make sense because then that's where they would put their guard down, like, oh, okay, we could be hurt by fellow extermination angels or people others from heaven, but we can't be hurt by sinners or demons, like anyone from hell. So I'm not afraid of any of you. But the fact that they can actually be harmed by anyone, interesting how they, they're that cocky that they don't think they, that any of the demons or sinners could hurt them, even though it probably is very, very easily can. How has no one else figured this out? <laughs> steel isn't common. And those who haven't uh -huh. are exactly right. You don't become an angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. Oh, her shoes are freaking made from angelic steel. All right. So what she do? Just literally stab the neck or cut it with her shoes? Chica. Oh, oh, oh. oh, song. Oh, that tapping. God, I love the beat matching up with the animation. Oh, that satisfies some part of me when the beat matches with the tap, like the, her feet, her footsteps. Ooh. Oh, I love like satisfying edits and stuff. So like seeing that or like beat, like music matching to the beat. Okay. Beats of a music matching to like uh, the clips or whatever that's being played. Mm. I love that. More. love oh yeah that's right because carmila did it out of love to protect her daughter so vaggy's gonna have to do it out of love for charlie have a reason to fight more than just to kill or whatever it's to protect for love oh she's matching her 
Charlie. <gasps> Wait, did her wings just sprout back? Or is that an illusion? Did your wings just sprout back? Well, look at that. You might just survive this. Maggie's got wings! They're back! And wait, are they actually different because... Wait, did they regrow and because she was focused on love, they look different? Instead of, like, being extermination? Wait. No, that's so cool! We're gonna need more weapons. You look really pretty with your wings. So out of sorts, darling. You clearly got more on your mind than angels. Mm hmm Girl talk. Okay, I really like Rosie. She's like, okay, forget Mimsy. Mimsy can just never be brought back into the show again. Sorry to, <laughs> sorry to Viv. <laughs> Great, her and the voice actress who voices her, but I don't care for Mimsy at all. <laughs> I, I, I love Rosie right now. She's like the aunt I would love to have. I don't know whether or not that was just more of the lies. <gasps> really, Charlie? That's a horrible thing to think. Do yeah. Yes. No. no. Charlie. You said you love this girl. Yes. Or, well, I... Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever once doubted that she loves you in return? Well, then what's the problem? There you go. Part in the very thing we've been working so hard to... That was the past her, though. She's literally rectifying it. I mean, she's not with you to rectify it, but, like... The fact that she used to be one and then she's rectifying it. Um, well, like, she's supporting her dreams to go against the very people that she was a part of. Like, that's big. Like, mm. End. Wow. Come on, Charlie. Isn't that silly hotel of yours all about redemption? Yes. Mm -hmm. She fucked up. Sure. She's what? But, but so hey, we all are. Who down here isn't? If oh, who? Yeah. I've learned, it's that words are cheap. But actions speak louder than words. They speak the truth. Mm hmm So, what have her actions said? That she, she loves you. Me? Well, how do you normally explain your hotel? In song. But that never works. It will work here. Trust me. Oh, you just gave her the green light. Yo, Charlie! Sing your heart out, girl! Oh, Alistair is giving her his, his microphone. That's big. You could taste it. You mean like human flesh? Uh, Piss off. Sort of. I might have to be ready for this. Ready to be. Oh, freaking Alistair giving you the thumbs up support. I love Alistair, okay? Like, okay, I don't trust him fully, but I don't know. He just gives, like, the, just through. I think it's what, like, Rosie said. There are words, but then there are actions. And I don't know. Alistair's done a lot of action. <laughs> I, I'm also scared, though, of him, what the deal he made with Charlie. I don't know. Because he could be someone that turns out to just completely backstab this whole thing and destroy it. But at the same time, he's also come across very genuine and, and wanting to help. Like, actually, I don't know. I don't know with Alistair. I want to trust him at the same time. If he turns out to be the bad guy and actually backstabs Charlie, that's going to really hurt. <laughs> so I don't want to, like, trust him fully. We had a we had a song in one of the I think teachers or trailers. Sure. Are they all gonna go to her hotel? Uh, oh, oh, that makes him happy. All right, Charlie, gotta lead him. The flesh buffet. Nah. The, the, the twitching? Order. Ah! Ah! Alistair! No! No, that- 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 face! <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying about Alistair! It's like he's trying to craft or mold her into something he- I don't- mm, Oh, sir. No, I'm saying not fully trusting Alistair. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I, I- I love you, man, but, uh, and you're a joy to- your absolute joy to watch and amusing and everything and scary and horrifying? I don't- I'm scared for what you have planned for Charlie. I really am. There is the part we heard in the teaser.
literally lend a hand. I'm ready for this. Sorry. Oh. Mm. You got the two meeting up. Just Looks like you had a busy day. You so, too. You too. Yeah. Charlie, I... Hold that thought. Uh, I got you a souvenir. Food to shrunken head. Oh, 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 Zaggy, <laughs> Zaggy, Zaggy's, Zaggy's sad face. I was trying to say them both at the same time for some reason. Charlie, the wings are new. They're pretty. You look nice. You look nice. Come on, let's go home. I was hoping Charlie would say something about her wings because she really looks good with them. So wait, I wonder. No, because we could always see behind her back. Because I was thinking, I wonder if. I wonder if her hair has always covered her wings. But, yeah, I think they grew at that moment with uh, Car Carmine or Carmel. Aw, uh, they all stayed. Of course they did. Angel! That was Fred. <laughs> Why? I thought she was going to name the bugs. But then again, she kills them, so never mind. Till next time in the next episode. Oh! <laughs> this feels like a good. Oh my god. Alrighty then. Let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. <laughs> Alrighty, this episode. So this definitely was like a build up to the final, the finale for this uh, this season. Um, pretty much them preparing for the finale. Oh god, I am not gonna be ready for that. I'm not gonna be ready for that. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, all right. I already pretty much gave my thoughts throughout the episode of like everyone mostly um, and what was going on. So pretty much the plot for this episode. Yeah, like I said, it's building up to the finale of the season. Um, uh, I really, I guess this has to do with characters too. Okay. Um, plot, uh, good, great for a build up. Um, uh, characters, I really like Rosie. Like, I, I definitely, like, Mimsy. <laughs> Honestly, probably my least liked character, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but Rosie is probably, like, uh, so far my... Uh, honestly, I think she maybe... Kind of hard because there's a lot of characters I love in this series. Uh, but honestly, for a almost, like... She almost felt like kind of like a motherly role for, for Charlie, and I really like her. Like, I... She feels like the kind of person you could go to with just your problems, and she'd be soft and, like, soft and... But also, like... Not tough, but like soft, but like gentle pressure. Like, what is it? Uh, like gentle push. It's not so much like go do it. It's more like you could do this. It, it, it's more reassuring. Um, but yeah, I really like Rosie. Um, I hope we see more of her after the season unless she dies. And I'm going to, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, character wise, uh, I like how they, they resolved Vaggie and Charlie's thing. Because um, it's true. It's like, it, it, And I like that it wasn't, they didn't do like bickering or fighting too much it was just kind of like charlie was focused on getting the hotel uh prepped and everything and all that stuff is she was kind of still up she was upset at baggy still but then after talking to rosie it's like she realizes yeah it's kind of silly to be upset at baggy because baggy obviously loves her and has supported her dreams and everything it's just it could be hard to admit to someone that you love that you've done something such as killing her kind and stuff, or thousands of her kind. So that's a bit different. Um, so like I, I, I like that you you couldn't like fully blame Vaggy and say, well, Vaggy, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you just admit it to Charlie? And then you can't blame Charlie for how she reacted because it's like, yeah, someone you love deeply breaks your trust, or you know, tells you that they didn't trust you enough to tell you that kind of secret makes you feel hurt and everything. So both sides were understandable. That's nice. It wasn't just one sided. Um, I like how that was, was resolved. Alistair, I pretty much already said it, but I, I don't trust him fully. And I, especially during that last song with him, say, like almost like he's molding her into what he wants. And it's like, what do you have planned for Charlie? And I'm just kind of scared for that. I, like, what could it be? What would Alistair want with Charlie that he's almost like trying to like, is he trying to turn into a leader, like a full-on leader to possibly replace Lucifer? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, obviously he doesn't have any intent, he doesn't have any intentions of, like, getting with her. And, like, in the sense of, like, becoming the king of hell if he marries her kind of thing. Because anytime, like, 
like when Rosie teased, oh, you know, she's too young for you. I also didn't have a reaction of like, he wants to, to become her king. So that way he can rule with rule hell. It's more like, like I really don't know what his end game is with her. And it has me nervous. Um, but yeah, anyway, characters were great. Uh, loved everyone in this episode. I love the, I've, I mean, of course, Angel Dust, Hoskin, Pensions, and everyone would stay. I mean, if any of them had left, I would have been like disappointed and sad and everything. I mean, but they could have also pulled a thing where they left, but then they thought about it and they came back. But I like that they just stayed. That like, it's kind of like, you know what? I'm really, we're here to stay. Like, I, I want to be redeemed and you guys are like family to me pretty much. And everyone's just sticking together. Um, animation was great. Music. Um, I like that the two songs that they had in this one weren't too abrupt. Like, a couple, like, two songs, I would say Lucifer's song, Lucifer and Alistair's song, which ended with Mimsy, was pretty, started pretty abruptly. Um, and then I would say, uh, Carmilla's one and, uh, Velvet's one, that started very abruptly. And while I don't have anything against those songs, I love those songs, but when they start abruptly like that, it kind of almost throws off the flow of the episode a little bit for me. Personally, so I like that the two episodes they had, the two songs they had in this episode flow, that like the, it flowed into the songs. And I, really, and I appreciate that, <laughs> or not appreciate that, but I, I I enjoy those more. Um, but yeah, both songs were great. Uh, music overall, great for the episode. Um, really excited for the season finale, but also kind of scared of it because I don't know what's in store, and I don't know if someone is gonna die, and, and if they are, I'm really scared of who it could be. Um, because I, I mean, that's if it's true. I don't know. I haven't looked up anything on like whether Vivian had actually ever said that, but from what I had heard is that one of the mains are going to die. And I just like, it's season one that seems kind of early, even though I, I believe there's only three seasons of this series. So I expect that to be more like season two kind of thing. Unless someone dying in season one is what becomes the catalyst for the rest of the seasons. So, mm. But yeah, anyway, great episode. Uh, those are my thoughts for it. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link in the description, pinned comment below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep ring bright. See ya!